Now, last week, we had a strange man from down under, so we're going to make a habit of it. This week's man from the Antipodean continent, he's not strange, but he's very well known. You may have seen him presenting the big breakfast in another place. If you're a neighbour's lifer, and so many people are, you'll also remember him as Joe Mangle in that very soap. But those days are behind him, and he's with me tonight. Please welcome Mark Little. That's a fine suit of clothing you have there, sir. May Thanks, say. mate. You're looking good yourself. Thank you very much. This is BBC clothes. Joe, is it? This is my own clobber. All right. I bought this myself. Mark, I must say you look, well, very well turned out, as I expect you to be, and I like your lang dancing boots as well. Lang dancing? Lang, lang, lang dancing. Do you know what lang dancing is? I, I, no, I don't, Jess. Oh, no, it's a thing that's spread over the country. Is it a good crack, mate? Is it a good, good crack? It is indeed. I see you picked up some of our lingo. That's it, mate. I'm hoping this gets to 90. <laughs> Listen, you have, am I correct in assuming you have never been to this country before? That's true, mate. I have not. Today is the day. Right. And you're going to stay for a couple of days. And it's, so, it's tropical. Uh, it's tropical, isn't it? It's we're, in for, it's we're in muggy. for a nice weekend, actually. Good. The weather forecast is good. Are you going to go along our beautiful coastlines? Well, I've, I've heard Antrim coastline mentioned a couple of times. A couple along there, yeah. Yeah? You yeah. reckon that's worth a look? Go up to Port Rush if you, go, if you want to go as far as that, go way around there. Yeah, okay, yeah. And depending like on who you're with, do not go into any pubs. Oh, um, I wouldn't mind going into one pub. Okay, then. I've got well, to have one real Guinness while I'm here. Maybe just one. Do you think? Can I just ask you one thing before we go into this whole details about what you're doing over the weekend? Have, okay, you, finally, yes. have you finally shaken Joe Mango? Oh, I've got a feeling Joey might live forever. <laughs> no, he, was, he seemed to be pretty popular. And, oh, completely, uh, yeah. I'm not trying to shake him. I mean, I, I, I believe he will... I'll just let him rest in peace when he decides to. And it's up to me to do other work. Yeah, And, yeah. Um, you know, show people me doing other things, and then he may fade into the distance, but... Um, well, I've only been off the box for like two, two years or something. No, but I mean, that's two, that's what, two, maybe two and a half years. What is it, two or three years since I remember Joe? Yeah, two and years. And Toby, what about Toby? Remember Toby got a head transplant? Poor old Toby had the head transplant, yeah. Do you remember Toby? He was your son, wasn't he? He was, he was yeah, lovely Toby little boy. Was, Toby was this man's son, and he came in one day and he had a new head. He did. And you never noticed. Well, he I, went off the, well we did notice, but we didn't try to let on. He went I, off to the Northern Territory, a crocodile bit his head off, and then he came back with a new head. I thought I was the only one who noticed. I said, that's not Toby, that's another Toby. Yeah. But that was good crack. Did you like Joe? Oh, Joe Did was like good Joe? fun. I, I worked really hard on Joe Mangle. He was good because he came into a, a point in Neighbours and in Australia there had been lot, um, Dynasty and Dallas, those shows were very big. And that yeah. was all glamour. You know, and everyone dolled up. Yeah. And I went in and I thought, well, I'm going to do quite totally the opposite to that. I'm going to make Joe anti-glamour. And you might have noticed with his clothing and that, he didn't, he wasn't a very glamorous fellow. No, he wasn't, but he had a certain rugged handsomeness and charm, indeed, so a weather-beaten look about him that women Thanks quite like. Did you fancy Joe, did you? No, I talked to women who <laughs> kind of liked him. No, I, mean, I used to look at me, I look at it with a practice eye. I would say, there's a man, and I know women who, who liked you. I can give well, you the names and addresses. He was a pretty, he was a pretty modern bloke, though, wasn't he? Because he, 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 he had a kid and then, then he had, uh, he married the hippie girl, married Kerry. That's right. And then, um... And then she died, and then he was left, like, as a single parent. Do you and, must be uh, round off talking about, pissed off talking about that, because after oh, all... Can you say that? No, I see you. Can you? Oh, cut, the, cut that out. <laughs> no. Gee, this is very <laughs> modern, isn't it? That's about Northern two, Ireland? That's about two or three years ago. Oh, yeah, what, what a, oh, what yeah, a piss but off. It, but at the same... <laughs> what this I'm is good to say crack. This is crack. I think we've hit 90. What I'm trying to say is, he, yeah. is, if it's two and a half years ago, yeah. and we were always a year and a half behind, Really? Well, yeah, it, you, get you get closer because you don't have a holiday from it over here. Over no. in Australia, there's a month off every now and then, so you're catching up. It won't yeah. be long, you'll be getting it before they make it. <laughs> Do you know what I noticed about Neighbours now? I, w I, was, on, I was in Ramsey Street. W were you? Yes, I was. What were you doing there? Do you find it surprising? Well, tourists, be in tourists, there's Street? a lot of, uh, lot of uh, British tourists go to Australia. Yeah. And they, uh, they go to Ayers Rock, Great yeah. Barrier Reef, Ramsey Street. Yeah, what do you call that district it's in? Um, None of Wadding. Uh, what, 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 is it, what is it? Anyway, I can't remember now. None of Wadding. But the thing, yeah, the thing that I enjoyed about it was the fact, <laughs> the fact that you could just wander up. They were doing the exterior things. Yes. Now here, if they were doing a, a soap like that, for instance, I remember reading about El Dorado. They had guard dogs and guards and kind of barbed wire around the place. But you could just walk up and say hello. Yeah. Well, Australians don't seem to bother about it. No, it, it started to get a little bit weird because there were people starting to come up and wanted to see Kylie because they thought actually everyone lived there. Turak. Two. Was that not, was that not the district? Was got Turak. What the, the neighbours were shot in? In Turak. No, none are wanting. 
No, no, what I No, Turak's where all the rich people live in Melbourne. Do you not what are you doing hanging around Turak? Do you not go through Turak to go down to Wadi? Uh, you, you, no, yes, you do. I think we're getting you go bogged through, down here. No, it's so cool. You go out through Turak, right. out to Nana Wadi. Nana Wadi. Yeah. All right. Uh, Turak. Oh, no, no, forget about it. Forget about that. <laughs> but when did you... Now, can I ask you, when did you first come to Britain? I mean, did you come... Were you, were you here before that? Before uh, you did the neighbourhood thing? Yeah, well before. I, I actually came here before I was a neighbour. In 85, I'd come over with my... Um, my wife and my first son, he was still, he was only two at that stage, just three, toured around, didn't mm -hmm. get to Ireland, mm -hmm. uh, toured around just as, as tourists, mm -hmm. drove around the country. Mm -hmm. Then I, I came over in 1990 to do the Edinburgh Festival with my uh, comedy work, because I do one-man comedy yeah. events. Yeah. I did the Edinburgh Festival and came back, and then I was asked to do pantomime on the wave of uh, neighbours, they seemed to ask neighbours over there, okay, we were yeah. sort of... Yeah, the gladiators yeah. of the late 80s. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, but, so it was a lot of backwards and forwards. I was quite itinerant there for a few years. Yeah. And it's now got to the point where, well, what keep this moving will stop in one place, and it's, it's England for the moment. Okay, so you feel as if you might stay in England for a while? Yeah, you? hang around, you know. Have well, a you're little... doing okay. I mean, do you enjoy doing the breakfast show? What a great, great, yeah, great job. Live television, I love live television. But it's very early in the morning. Sometimes you look very wrecked. I am very wrecked. Well, it's, you know... Amen, right, no, that's Amen makeup. Holmes. We do that. There's a, there's no, a prosthetic no, 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 no. mask. We I put hope you on don't the... feel as if I'm, I'm insulting you in any way. I did there for a no second there, Jerry. No man alive. Because you're looking so good, mate. Gee, thanks. <laughs> no man. What time do you have to? What time do you have to get up in the morning? I got up at four o'clock. No man alive can look well getting up at four o'clock in the morning. It's true. I, I suppose not. What, what are you saying? How ugly do I come across over here? <laughs> no, just a shot. <laughs> There's something wrong with your telly, I think. There's something wrong with your telly, Jess. Eamon Holmes is coming on this program next week. Now, is he? Ah, oh, well, he's he's fiberglass. I mean, he looks like awful in the morning. <laughs> I mean, I've, se I've seen. <laughs> he him. puts on a mask. I know. I've seen him before he goes on. Yeah. You know. Oh, but you, you obviously don't work, you don't bother about makeup at all. No. Well, yeah. No, I have a bit of makeup, but I I don't like. Um, the fact the big breakfast is great because it doesn't pretend to be anything. That it, it shows it shows itself. It's, it's oh, working. Yeah. And I like looking a bit like I've just woken up like everybody else. Yeah. I don't like trying to hide the fact that I'm I'm pretending this is not seven o'clock in the morning and it's early. Mm -hmm. So I let him. I let myself you okay. know, right. be seven o'clock in the morning. Indeed, yeah, well, it, it, it's obvious. Ugly, yeah, it's all. It's makeup. <laughs> those those dark rings. Are, they put them on <laughs> for effect. Now, when you left, when you left Neighbours, <laughs> did it ever occur to you, I mean, was that about the time when, when, when Kylie and Jason were having this great success in the charts? Did that occur to you? Because, it, I mean, as I say, you're a very personal sort of a chap, I and mean, you could, I can see you on top of the pops. I can see you. <laughs> I can see you well, I thought about it. I was thinking about it just as Kylie put out Locomotion. <laughs> and um, it was like, oh, good one, Kylie, well done. And I thought, I can't do it, because it looked like I was just copycatting. I didn't worry the others. Yeah. They went, but I, I, <laughs> but I didn't... Uh, I didn't get into it because I was actually Kylie's replacement in Neighbours. I don't know if you watch Neighbours much, Jerry. I watched it all the time. I'm trying to remember. Well, remember, Ky that. Kylie left and, and then Joe she came. Went. She went to Brisbane. No, you got people go to Brisbane and never come back. That's right. Well, that's where they go. That's the Neighbours graveyard. That's right. did you, where did you go? I can't remember what happened. Oh, I, come over, I went to England because Mrs. Mangle was crook, and then I just lived up the road and they kept ringing me up. And you were never there? Yeah, I just up with the chooks on the farm and the ute. And <laughs> Toby. And Butte. No, I, I, I was talking to someone about this. I was talking to Bob Down last week. Bob Down? Bob Down. You had Bob last. Down in. <laughs> <laughs> He's a classic, isn't he? Do you know him? Oh, Bob Down. I grew up with, it, with regional television, with Bob Downs. No, I was talking... fiberglass hair. We were talking to him about, about, about the fact that nobody... Nobody, nobody smokes in neighbours. Did you ever... No, well, it's When, a, when it's, somebody it's a likes a cigarette, program. you know he's going to murder somebody. That's right. The baddies were allowed to smoke. Yeah. You know, you know, oh, very sus. Oh, they're having a cigarette. Naughty neighbour. Yeah. But, but you know, kids are watching. Um, even the beer thing got a bit much because Joe Mangle, he, he um, if he'd truly drunk as much beer as it looked like, he would have been 350 stone. Yeah, he really fired it. He, he couldn't have drunk he? that much. But they, yeah. they, they then toned that down and said, look, I think this, uh, you know, this is not a good role model. Mm. This bloke drinking this much alcohol at this hour. And there's a lot of kids watching, so they're trying to get smoking on. And... Oh, yeah. But I don't know. They might be smoking on it now. It's very modern no, now. It's, kind of, it's turned into Grange Hill, really. Hasn't has it? it? Yeah, there's all kids in it. Lots of, yeah, all lots of little midriffs, you know. Uh, oh, you, uh, you watch it close, No, 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 I watch it all the time. You know what, now, speaking of that, now, you're in a very vulnerable position here because it seems to me that everyone on the big breakfast <laughs> is having maritable, marital... Maritables? Mar maritable trouble. Yeah, a bit of maritable trouble. Like Polly uh, Yates and... Poor old Yates, yes. And Mr. Ross. And Mr. Ross, yes. Yes, but how... Not are you, me. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I'm, no. I, yeah, I've got a, my family and we have a good time. 
Yeah. You've I mean, that's um, whew, that's a pressure that I um, try to avoid. Yeah. That's, I've got my family to keep myself, to have a life away from the television world, because you know what it can be like, okay, and you can get right, right. caught up in it. Okay. So, so there's a woman over there going like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, shut him up. No, shut no, them up. No, they don't do that. Come on, let's, let's have some more singing. Let's have a bit of crack. You're very lazy, stuff. Not getting involved other than with horrible women. Yeah. Mark Little, thank you very much. Thank you, Jess. You thought we have to go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.